Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. In today's lesson, we will continue to study about maintain stock item in SQL accounting software. So we continue with stock, maintain stock item. Okay, so we have cover unit of measurement customer price, supplier price, bill of material I will explain in another session. So we continue with more description. More description is when you want to sell or purchase this item, there's a long description you want to type. For example, you purchase a computer. So normally under the item description, you can see there is a long list like What's your motherboard? What's the RAM size, hard disk, and so on? So it will not be every time you need to retype the whole thing. So what you need to do is you just maintain the description over more description. For example, um, more description one, more description two, and so on. So, when you create a document with this item, during preview, you can see your more description will automatically come up. Of course, you can edit this more description to the transaction, which I will explain again in future, but I'll show you what it will be done is over here. You can always edit over the item row during transaction. So we continue with minutes the item. Okay, open balance. Open balance is what is the balance of quantity when you implement the system? If you know exact what is the quantity, you just put in over here. 99% during my implementation, no one can give me the exact figure what the for stock balance. So normally, I'll, no problem. As and when you have updated quantity, you just use a stock adjustment to do later okay category category is a additional module you can set purchase separately what it will do is actually you can do analysis based on category of item instead of the item itself so if you want to do that you just go to stock maintain stock category for example you can put in, um, for example, country, let's say Japan. Or US. So, you can select the category over here. And during certain reports, for example, analysis by document, you can, sorry, it's the item category. So you can analyze, analyze by category. So, you see, you are analyzing by category instead of the item itself. Alternative, alternative is you are selling item A out of stock. You can replace with item B. Until today, uh, my customer no one using this, so I'll skip. Customer item. Okay, this is interesting. Customer item is. You are selling 
Coca-Cola. So, oh, oh, okay. Uh, before oh, Microsoft Office 212. Oh, when you're selling to a big customer, of course, they will not want you to print out the DO or the invoice to them by using your code or your description. They want you to follow them. So, what you do over here is you select that particular customer and you type the code. For example, we'll call MS09-09. So if you do this during transaction print out for example invoice for this customer the item that will appear will not be this code and this description instead it will use this code and this description of course there is a minor customization to that document itself also which I will cover in the future lesson but for the time being what you need to understand is if you need to print an invoice according to your customer code for and description you need to maintain over here the same thing applies to supplier item meaning you purchase something when you print out your purchase order supplier wanting you to follow their code and their description this normally happen if you are facing a very big customer or a very big supplier because they have a lot of supplier or, or customer contributing the same item to them so they cannot afford to follow individual uh, invoice so everyone might follow them if they follow this barcode SQL do support barcode system not, not over here is you can actually load a photo for that particular item so this is a basic concept of stock item attachment normally is um, you can attach any kind of document if your item do have a certificate and so on you can just attach together so you can contact me with this information i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you